About 10 years ago, parts of the state of Alabama were paralyzed for days. January 28, 2014 was the beginning of what some still call the snowpocalypse or snowmageddon. Essentially, the state got walloped by an arctic front from the North Pole that caused a few inches of snow and ice. But that wasn't the problem. We get snow here sometimes. The problem was it came after a series of warmer days, which meant that the snow would almost immediately melt on the roadways and refreeze as ice. This turned many roadways into skating rinks. And it also happened on a workday when people were in offices or at school, meaning for several days, people were trapped where they were, in offices, at schools, and on the roads. And even if you could make it somewhat close to your home, if you lived on an incline, you weren't making it all the way. I couldn't get up the hill, so I left it. And it stayed that way for days. Over the course of just four days, Alabama state troopers responded to over 700 traffic accidents. Of course, people came together, distributing food to stranded motorists and driving four-wheelers to help clear local roads while authorities worked on the main roads. But if you lived through it, your ears definitely still perk up when you hear about a cold front in January. For more news, go to AL.com.